welcome to my channel my name is Paige if you're new here and you've never seen my face before then please consider subscribing before you leave also if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up a couple days ago I went to Hobby Lobby just to check out and see what they had and they actually had started their sale they do this sale I think like twice a year they don't like overly advertise it so you kind of have to like go in to check and see if it's going on but when they're trying to put out fall and Christmas and all this stuff which they already have started doing which I think is totally crazy, but they have to make room on those shelves. So a lot of this home decor will start getting marked down incredibly. So I racked up and found two aisles of 75% off stuff. So this is the time to go because it's not as picked over. Hopefully your store hasn't been picked over that much either, but the longer it sits there, the higher the percentage will be that it's discounted. But of course that just means the more picked over the stuff's gonna be and there won't be as much stuff to pick from. So I like to go this time because there's a lot of things because they just put it out. So if you're excited about seeing all of the discounted stuff that I got at Hobby Lobby, Let's get into the haul. So the first thing is this floral globe and it's not really a globe. I mean, it's a globe, but it's not showing the planets. I always, the planets? <laughs> It's not showing the continents. I always wanted like a really pretty globe that showed the continents and I would be like, I'm gonna go here. But this one doesn't do that. But I could not leave it because I had seen it before, but I refused to pay $35 for it. But it was with the 75% off stuff, so it was $8.75. And I thought it was adorable and it would fit really well in my studio or in my office, so I could not pass it up. I just thought it was super cute. It had a couple different ones that actually showed the contents on it, but they just weren't as cute as this one. The wooden beads are super trendy in home decor right now. If you're into like the farmhouse or bohemian style, they are super on trend. But I'm not gonna pay the price for them. I think a lot of them looks like something that I could make personally. <laughs> I mean, you're just stringing beads on a string. I found these and I really liked it because they weren't just one solid bead. They were different beads. They were different shades of brown and they were different shapes. So I really like that and these had originally been $15 and they were $3.75 and they have the little tassel at the end. But a lot of people are just draping these around things. Just some little vignette, like they're just draping them around. So these fit perfect with my theme that I have going in our living room. So I had to grab those. I was very excited to find these. They actually had a ton of different ones and they had these little people. They were actually weren't little, they were kind of tall, but they were like skinny people. They were made out of like this black enamel, ceramic, whatever material. They were really pretty. I didn't have anywhere to put them. <laughs> but that's when I spotted these and I love, I love these. This is giving me like Southwestern Aztec vibes, which I am all about. I've always loved that. I guess being Native American and growing up in houses with pretty, something similar to this, it just sort of like pulls you in, I guess. But I love these. They're super heavy duty. Um, this one had been $9.99 and it was $2.50. I love that. I just love that. And then this one had originally been 15 and I got it for 375. So I'm planning on putting these next to each other because I just think that just looks really good. And of course, they're gonna go in our living room because they're perfect. This was also something I found over there with those pots. And this is just a candlestick, but I love this. It's like wood. <laughs> and it has the little place in the top for you to stick just a pillared candle. And this had originally been $12 and it was clearance down to three. But I love it. I love the stain of the wood. I love the little tribal looking Aztec symbol on it. I love that. I just think this is gonna look perfect in our living room. I can't wait to put this stuff out. I snatched up a box of potpourri, which technically this isn't potpourri. I guess this is just bowl filler. If you follow me on Instagram and if you don't, you should but if you are a frequent follower on my instagram and you watch my stories i post stories every single day but you would know that rosie our copper spaniel has been stealing bowl filler out of our living room so when i seen this i had to grab it up because bowl filler can get kind of expensive this had originally been 15 dollars and it was 375. i like the different colors and the textures and style of the little balls that are in here so i thought that was pretty good have you ever bought something had no idea where it was going to go or what you were going to do with it but it was such a good deal you couldn't leave it and it was so pretty <laughs> that's what this is for me so i fell in love with this sign because 
it has a mixture of the galvanized metal, which I love, it's all over my house, but also like this reclaimed looking wood. Oh, I love it. And then you throw in, it's got a Bible verse on it, which is just everything. So this is just perfection. Um, this had originally been $35 and it was on clearance for $8.75. That's why I could not leave it. It's a really good size. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I'm sure I can find somewhere to put it, but I loved it. My collage wall is completely full, so it's not going to go on there. I'll figure somewhere out, but I love this. $8.75, that's a steal. This next piece I showed on my Instagram, and I also showed it on my Instagram followers control a day in my life. And you guys voted that I should get these, so I got them. Even though I think if you would have voted no, I probably would have still got them because I love them and they were a really good price. They had quite a few of these actually, and I just love them. It reminds me a lot of Pinecone Patchwork, and if you're a Lumbee like I am, which is the tribe I'm from, then you would definitely see the resemblance of this, but it just looks so much like Pinecone Patchwork to me. So that's what drew me in. But these are pretty much just like a quilt square, but oh, the pattern just really spoke to me and I couldn't leave them and I love the color. So I got two of these. My plan is to hang these above our bed, maybe put a mirror or a wreath or something in the middle of them. They did have three. I was debating on getting three or not because I think with a king size bed for size it needed something in the middle, but I decided just to change it up and put something different in the middle. So like I said, a mirror or a wreath. But these had originally been $30 and they were seven Okay, this is the last item, but this was the thing I was the most excited about when I seen it. Of course, this is super trendy. Everybody's got one now, at least I think everybody does. At least in like the social media world, everybody has one. But I knew I didn't want a traditional one. I seen a pink one before and I fell in love with it. I was like, if I ever get one, I'm gonna get a pink one. Can you guess what I'm talking about? A ladder board! Yo, okay. I don't know why I wanted a pink one. I, I'm obsessed with pink, if you don't know already. <laughs> I love pink, and anything that comes in the option of getting it in pink, I want it. I want it in pink. Everybody has like the traditional black with like the wooden frame. I wanted something that was a little different. And I love seeing people when they sit down and do videos, they'll have this in the background and they'll have some kind of little saying or a Bible verse on it. I just love it. And people take some of the cutest pictures on Instagram with it, and I feel like, I have some really neat quotes that I say, and <laughs> I need to document what I say and put it on here. So this comes with the white letters in the back. This had originally been $40 and it was on sale for 10. I loved it. They had a couple different colors. They had the traditional one. They had like a green one. They also had some chalkboards which were 75% off too. So I thought that was a really good deal, but I am so, I am so excited to break this puppy out. I've been trying to keep it attached so I could do this haul, but now I can take it apart. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. This kind of reminds me of the magnetic alphabet on a refrigerator. And I would stand there and like write out letters and phrases and words. I don't know why that made me so excited, but. This is like the grown up version of that. Okay y'all, so I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you love Hobby Lobby as much as I do, comment down below what you're most excited about snatching up from this sale. Like I said, if you wanna wait till it goes up to 80%, you can definitely do that, but I think the time is now to go while everything is not so picked over. They have started putting out some fall stuff and I even seen the racks going up for Christmas ornaments. And it's June. That's just so crazy to me. If you think that's crazy too, give it a thumbs up. I feel like America is rushing our life away. <laughs> Can we at least wait till maybe August to start putting out Christmas stuff? That's still early, but Jesus. I love reading your guys' comments and your suggestions, especially when it comes to content that you would like to see. I love putting out things that you guys enjoy, so definitely make sure to let me know down below in the comments what you would love to see from me this summer. So that is it for this Hobby Lobby haul. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. Bye! Who you are, I don't know what you've been through, why you got scars. Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you. I feel